Hello everybody and welcome to Daily Entomologist and I'd like to wish you all a happy National Moth Week 2020. Uh, this year uh, Moth Week is July 18th through the 26th. Um, so if you can get out Put on a porch light or even go out during the daytime and look and to see what kind of moths you can find. Unfortunately, they are overshadowed mostly by butterflies. Because butterflies are the ones people see during the day when they're out and about. Um, but moths definitely need more appreciation. And between you and me, I actually kind of like moths better than butterflies. Unpopular opinion, maybe. But one of my favorite uh, families of moths are the uh, sphingidae or the sphinx moths. Uh, drawer sphinx moths right here. Um, so even within the uh, sphinx moths, they vary uh, quite differently in size and even shape. Uh, so here we have a uh, Pachy Sphinx modesta, and over here. We have a Hemeris uh, species um, that looks like over here we have Hemeris uh, Tefinis and Hemeris Thetis. You can see even between Sphinx moths, those are really big uh, size difference. Um, this time of year uh, sphinx moths are going to be pretty common. Um, you should be able to, f you have a good chance of finding one if you're in the right, right spot. Um, I'm actually going to take a couple of these out. That's the uh, Package Fiend Smodesta. It's a really heavy bodied uh, Sphinx Moths. Probably one of the heaviest bodies here, heavy bodied species here in North America. But uh, large size too. Um, this thing's here. Uh, Manduka Sexta. Um, really nice yellow dots there on the abdomen. Uh, pretty beautiful species. Uh, here's one of my favorite North American species, uh, Xylophanes tersa, the tersa sphinx. Really beautiful, really cool looking species. Uh, this is, I found these specimens more in a southeastern United States. I just found them in Florida, Arkansas. This is a Hemeris thisbe. Uh, 
uh, hummingbird clearwing moth. Really beautiful species there. And uh, here's probably one of the most uh, well-known species in North America. Hylaes lineata, the white line sphinx moth. One of the most common species as well. Um, beautiful, beautiful species. Um, pretty common here in Colorado as well. So yeah. Uh, pretty much just a quick rundown of some of the species of Sphingidae in my collection. Um, hopefully this will help uh, get you in the mood for uh, National Moth Week. So you can get out, hopefully find some of these species in your own area. Um, just look at moths in general and start really appreciate their diversity. And their really complex, intricate patterns and colors and after a week of finding different species hopefully it'll change your mind about how awesome moths are and why they should not be overshadowed by butterflies so yeah this is just a this is, this is gonna be a quick uh, my National Moth Week public service announcement video uh, so yeah Get out, enjoy National Moth Week, find some cool moths, um, and hopefully I'll be able to find some cool ones as well. So, that's going to be it for this video. Um, good luck, and may the moths be with you. <laughs>